Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to fix this issue if you're having an iPhone is not activated, contact your carrier. If this problem continues to occur, error message on your iPhone. This is gonna be really simple forward. We're gonna share with you guys a couple of trips that essentially will help you guys fix that issue. So let's talk about this. So when you get this error, it's essentially what's being happening is that the iPhone can't reach out to the activation server of Apple and it's whether it could be a couple of reasons. Of course, first reason could be that the internet connection isn't there. The second reason is that Apple's uh, activation servers are actually down. And lastly, it's just a quick blip in the software. So you might have to go ahead and update or restart your phone. So first thing to do when you see that it's going to be the probably the easiest thing to do is restarting your iPhone. So here we have the iPhone 13 Pro, as you can see, the graphite color and one of the newer ones with the full screen, you're gonna turn it off by simply holding the big button and then the volume up button at the same time. So you're gonna hold these two buttons at the same time. You're gonna get slide to power off, slide it, and it's gonna power off. Now, for some reason, your buttons aren't working. You could also come into settings and then go to general, and then all the way down here, there's a shutdown option. Same thing, shut it down, give it about a minute or so. And then after you have done that, you're going to want to hold this big button. This time you don't have to hold the volume up button anymore. You hold this button and then turn it back on and hopefully that resolves the issue. The next thing you want to check is your internet connection. So if you put a SIM card in and you're looking to use cellular data, it might not picked up the SIM card or it's not added on yet. Go ahead and connect to a Wi-Fi here. So you're going to want to connect to your home Wi-Fi or wherever you are with the Wi-Fi because it will need to reach out on the internet to the Apple servers to activate your device. So make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi with good strength. And after you have done that now, if it's still, is not, still not working now, it's time to check the system status page for all of the Apple's activation servers. So to do that, you're going to simply go over to the settings here. And once you're in the settings, you're going to want to go, go to Google or whatever browser you have. Simply check Apple system status and what this page is that we're going to click on it's going to be the first link that comes up it's or if you wanted to go directly to it it's going to be this whole link we'll leave a link in the comment section or or in the description but basically what this is is a list of all the services that apple provides for iphone and these are on their side if there's an issue with it for example as you can see there's one issue with today right now that's being reported for Apple School Manager. So as you can see, there were some issues there, but for the most part, we see all of them are active. Now you wanna take a look at this and just make sure that for some reason, the one that you're looking for here, you want to make sure that there's no issue with any of these services as any of these services can potentially impact you from activating your device so this is a good look at it and as you can see here right now it looks like all of them are pretty good and that shouldn't have any issues now the one that's particular to this is going to be this ios device activation so that's going to be the service that's key again the other one do matter for other services but when you see that air message and restart or simply connecting to a good wi-fi didn't work and you see there's an issue with that ios device activation that's going to be the reason why and to kind of wait you use when you do have an issue with this, the best thing you have to do is wait till Apple resolves it. And Apple usually resolves the issue somewhere between, you know, sometime between half an hour, hour, or they, they pretty much know because all of these are required for them to activate Apple devices. So they're gonna probably fix it right away. So you have to be patient. And lastly, if all of them are working and you're still having an issue, it's gonna be going to updating your software. And to do update your software, you're gonna go to settings, general, software update and you always want to make sure you have the latest version of ios as generations of ios versions sometimes have a bug or glitch that can potentially uh, causing it to have some sort of weird issue where it can connect or anything like that and after you have done that the last thing you want to check it's going to be a probably more or less it's not as relevant but your time so as you can see here the time if the phone time is not the same time in, as your current location time there's something off so that could potentially impact the phone from connecting to the apple server and to do that you're going to go to settings again general and then this time you're going to go date and time and here you can play around with it you can have it set manually or set it yourself as well but you want the time to be what the time is for your zone and because if it's a different time it will not be able to 
activated because it doesn't recognize the timing from where you're sending the signal to the Apple server. So hopefully one of these tips help you guys resolve that issue. And if this helped you guys, make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.